my name is Olya Gavrish. I am product manager working on .NET team and focusing on the latest version of .NET and the ways how you can upgrade your applications. And in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your .NET framework or .NET core application to the latest .NET. Now you can do it in Visual Studio with just a few clicks. So no matter what kind of application you have, WinForms, WPF, Console, Class Library, ASP.NET, you can upgrade your app in Visual Studio to the latest.NET. Even more, if you have Xamarin Forms application, you can migrate it to .NET MAUI, and you can also migrate UWP applications to WinUI 3. If you have Azure Functions, not only you can upgrade it from .NET Framework to the latest .NET, but also you can upgrade uh, to the latest Azure Function versions. So from V1, V2, V3 to the latest right now, it's V4. One exception is web forms. If you have dependency on web forms, that is considered an older way of doing things. And we did not bring it to .NET Core or later versions of .NET. So to upgrade your application, first you need to uh, rework and get rid of web forms dependencies. Or you can leave it on .NET Framework, that's fine too. OK, let's go to Visual Studio, and I'm going to show you how easy upgrades are right now. First, you need to make sure that you have the extension for upgrades. For that, we go to uh, Extensions, Manage Extensions, and here in online, type .NET Upgrade Assistant. This is the extension you want to be able to migrate. So once you have it, click Download. I already have it on my machine. Make sure automatic updates are on because we are constantly improving this tool and you want to get all the latest features. Once I have it on my uh, machine installed, then I can right click on my project and see a menu option upgrade. And once I click upgrade, I will see upgrade assistant that will guide me through the experience. So there are three, the first decision that I need to make is what type of upgrade I want to do. And there are three options for that. Depending on your project, Upgrade Assistant will recommend only options that make sense for you. So you may see less than three. That means that Upgrade Assistant helped you to make some decisions here already. And I'm going to show you how to upgrade a class library. Then I'll show you how to upgrade a web application. So for class library, I have three different options for upgrades. In place, project upgrade, side by side, and side by side incremental. In place, we'll just simply take my project and move it to the latest.NET. Side by side, we'll do the same, but instead of touching my original project, it will create a new project in the solution. We'll put it right next to my original project and migrate my code into this new project. So as a result, I will have two projects, one original untouched and the new one on the latest.NET. And side by side incremental, this uh, experience was designed mostly for web applications because when you're porting from ASP.NET to ASP.NET Core, those two platforms are very different. And there are lots and lots of changes that are required to switch to the latest platform. For that, usually people prefer incremental upgrades where they move piece by piece. And with this type, you will have an option to have your application running in production all the time, smoothly, and you can stretch your migrations through months and add class by class, view by view, and your application will still work and the parts that are not still implemented in the new, uh, new project, it will forward to your original .NET Framework application. So for class library, I'm going to choose side-by-side -side project upgrade. And here, Upgrade Assistant asks me, do I want to create a new project? Or maybe I already started migration and I have already created this new project and I want migration to happen there. In most cases, if you haven't started anything manually, choose new project and click next. And here you can give a name to your uh, project, record library core. 
let's call it .NET 7. I'm going to click Next. Here I can choose the target. So you will see three versions of .NET. Long-term support, right now it's .NET 6. It's the version that we support for three years. And you can see that support ends in November 2022. Then Standard term support, that's the latest .NET that is available right now. Support ends in May 2022. STS indicates that that's the standard term support. Also, there is an option for preview. If you prefer to get the latest changes from our team, you can upgrade to preview. And if you are on, let's say, Preview 1 and Preview 2 is already available, you can use Upgrade Assistant to upgrade within Preview to the latest version of Preview as well. Now, because we are porting class library, there are two more options, .NET Standard 2.0 and .NET Standard 2.1. That option is available for class libraries because sometimes you want your library to be used from both .NET Framework applications and .NET Core or .NET 6, .NET 7. In that case, you can use .NET Standard and to be compatible between Framework and Core family, use .NET Standard 2.0 because 2.1 is not always compatible with .NET Framework. So because I don't, I plan to move all the code to the latest .NET, I'm not going to choose .NET Standard. I will choose .NET 7. On the next screen, it shows me all my uh, content of my project, and I can check and check anything if I prefer to do it step by step. In my case, I want to do it all at once, so everything is checked, and I clicked Upgrade. And here you can see the progress of my upgrade. I see green checkboxes, success. When the checkbox is filled with color, that means that this file was changed and successfully changed. Now it's on .NET 7. The one that is not filled means that this file is already compatible. No changes were made. It just works as is. N nothing was done here, but it's also on .NET 7 compatible with the latest framework. And just like that, you can see now, if I go to properties here, my library is targeting .NET 7.0. So just in a few clicks, I moved my class library from .NET Framework 4.8 to .NET 7. OK, and now I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your SP.NET application. So same way, I'm clicking Upgrade. Here, Upgrade Assistant suggests me only incremental option for my grades, and that is because that is the recommended way for web applications. So I'm going to choose that. And I will choose new project. I'll call it .NET 7. And here is the summary of what Upgrade Assistant is going to do. At this point, it will create a new .NET 7 project. And it will put it right next to my original MVC Music Store .NET Framework project. And it will set up a new .NET 7 project as a facade. So when I run my application, .NET 7 project runs. And then when users call some routes, it is going to check, is this route implemented already in my .NET 7 application? If yes, then that route will be executed. But if not, it will forward the call to the original my .NET framework application. So this way, you can. Uh, stretch your migration through months and migrate piece by piece, one at a time, no rush, and have your application running in production. So I'm going to click Done. And here you can see the summary of uh, what happened. So right now, all endpoints, I have 35 of them, are on .NET Framework. I don't have any routes on ASP.NET Core. And there are options, Upgrade Controller, Class, and View. Another useful tab here is Endpoints Explorer, where you can see all the endpoints here, all my post gets, and so on. And in my MVC Music Store, it's empty for now. So now I'm going to 
move things one by one. I'm going to start with a controller and I will select, let's say, home controller. It's a good start. And I will click upgrade. So it automatically detects what dependencies this controller has on views, routes, database, contacts, etc. So I'm going to leave everything checked and click upgrade the selection. And here you will see how my application is getting upgraded. Some files have been changed, some were left untouched because they are already compatible. And you can see 15 succeeded, zero failed, 12 skipped. Awesome. Now when I go to summary page, I see that already three routes are on .NET core family on my .NET 7 project. And I have 32 routes left. So just like that, one by one, I will select my controllers, classes, views, and migrate everything. Once everything is on .NET 7, I can get rid of .NET framework application. So just like that, you can use this extension in Visual Studio and uh, migrate your application from older .NET framework or .NET Core to the latest .NET. Another great feature that this uh, tool has, it can upgrade you from any version of .NET to the latest one. So even once you moved from .NET Framework and now let's say you're on .NET 6, in a few years, there's .NET 8, .NET 9, .NET 10 available, I still recommend using this tool to upgrade to the latest.NET. First upgrades will be much faster and much easier, but we are adding functionality, not only to change target framework, but also to automatically update calls of certain APIs and avoid breaking changes. Of course, we won't be able to do everything, but we do as much as we can. So by using this upgrade assistant, you will get better experience porting. Some manual steps will already be done for you. So with that, please check out this tool and do give us feedback. This tool is very new and we are listening to your preferences. We want to hear what else you want the tool to cover. Or if something doesn't work for you, please in Visual Studio, in the top right corner, click on uh, report a problem or suggest a feature here and a specified .NET upgrade assistant in the caption. That way I will get this issue right away and I will be able to address it and help you. With that, thank you so much and happy porting.